ロープボックスいるか After what happened to Jenkins, the crew could use some good news. They'll be glad to hear you're okay. <laughs> Why are you here? Assigned to this ship. Who do you know here? Captain Anderson had me transferred to his command. Must have figured I knew what I was doing. <laughs> I don't like that tone. You have a problem with me, Chief? You questioned my competence through the entire mission. That's my prerogative. Best way to stop that <laughs> is to show me you're competent. But I don't remember inviting you to come back to the ship with us. <laughs> you didn't. Captain Anderson did. I think we got off on the wrong foot. Oh shit, I just like took Maybe it all we back. Can start again. I'm not one to hold a grudge. I think we're all looking to put Eden Prime behind us. Was that how she's doing down there? Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. The the mission did fail. Dead marines, dead colonists. Cuz we didn't get and that in beacon. The end, we still didn't get that beacon. Damn. You saved a lot of lives, commander. It might be hard to keep that in perspective with what happened to Jenkins. Save it. I'm not looking for a shoulder to cry on, Williams. Just stay focused on your job. Understood, sir. Dr. Jack White. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe, too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Like what? what? Kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye. Goodbye, Commander. Now well, here he is. Let's talk. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Wow, good talk, bud. Here's Anderson. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. Anything down here? Hello, hello. Big negative. <laughs> okay, I'll just take that shit. I don't think I need to use the elevator, just use the steps. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on you. I just pressed something and got XP. Interactive gameplay. Alright, Joker. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Good shit.
Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Wow, well, sizes and everything. <laughs> Why so touchy, Joe? <laughs> I'm just saying you need firepower too. <laughs> Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Two docks off from 420. Smoke. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony! The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. <laughs> Just the ground team from Edinburgh, <laughs> in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. They're bad. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. It's not even that. Dude's just a fuck kind of prick. I think I just got a quest there. Sure is peaceful here. Please greeting. <laughs> Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations <laughs> to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. <laughs> Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, 
We Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! Huh. They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Damn, what is this dude? Rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. I like him. I like Kalen. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Hello there, human. Oh, another guy. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. I'd like to talk with Din. Maybe, uh, give him a knuckle sandwich. I like how I can just take out my weapon. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Program to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. I'll pass. <laughs> I apologize Bye -bye. if you found my service unsatisfactory. Please submit any complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Yeah, we gotta go to the tower. That's what Udina said. For the hearing. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. What the hell? I wasn't... Oh, wait. Can I... You don't want to keep the Council waiting. I wanted to ask him who the other guy was. Maybe I'll just pull a gun on the council. That'll go over well. Smug looking motherfucker. Anderson. The hearing's already started. Come on. Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, a 
and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Oh. You can expect me to kill you the next time we <laughs> yeah, meet. Yeah, fuck yeah. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your what? time, Counselor, and mine. What the fuck? Why don't... You can't hide behind the Council forever. Like the most... There's still one outstanding mm. issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. Fuck yeah, dude. Why don't, like, the most basic question, like... The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren oh and the God. Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude? This meeting is adjourned. All you have to like ask Saren, like, where were you when Nihilus was killed? And he's like, uh, bottom text. Then you fucking got him. What a it joke. was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason: to exterminate the entire human race. Damn. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How does he know her? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. The council's not gonna help We need us. to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. I like how Odina what agrees with us. That 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 second he actually did it. We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I'm not gonna be a hard ass I about that. I have a contact in C who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. <laughs> I won't waste my time. I want to meet him. You won't have to. I don't want the council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. Yeah, what the hell? My right-hand man. The ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. But his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago. I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. That's, that's kind of what I would do. I'm playing like as this ruthless piece of shit. Oh man, lots of questions. Uh, Shadow Broker. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. 
doesn't get involved in politics, doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, what the they hell? don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies it's to decide. It's just three people that make these Once laws? Once we get a seat on the Council, we'll be able to influence those rulings. Protect our own interests. No more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. What the fuck? Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the Council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his Geth. Problem solved. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. <laughs> he's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Yeah, is this... What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. I can't believe the Council Sometimes they're sent people. on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. They're born. That's the Council's so always dark, looking cringy. for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things yeah, are still is this, up How is this legal? They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred, but the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents, the last line of defense, the final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. Barlavon. Tell me about Barlavon. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, Spectres. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. I should go. Probably shouldn't Good be luck, uh, common knowledge. I'll yet. be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Shadow broker uses this dude. Where's Garrus? That's what we need to talk to. The guy's up to something. What? Oh no, no, I wasn't. Never mind. The fuck? Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. <laughs> I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? 
No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Well, we're, gonna, we're gonna press them. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I'll do it. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. Yeah, fuck yeah, I don't even ass. know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Oh, well, why is what are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. Sure, bud. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Uh, I guess I'll go down. See if uh, Garrus is down here before using the mass rapid transit. And nobody gives a shit. Yeah, I should just use the uh, MRT back there. Playing abandoned mall. Can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his the shadows. Tours. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. No shit. Oh, I can scan this guy. Get some Look at that credits. bug thing over there. Please do not disturb the keepers. He gave me 30. 30 clams. That's nothing. Please do not disturb the keepers. What did I need? How do I. J? Okay. Okay, so these are. The assignments are like the optional side quests. Uh, go see Barlavan in the financial district. Let me just take the, uh, oh shit. MRT is over here. Oh, I can scan this guy. Seems to be something going on over here. That's it. That's good. That's so. I, I expected more. What's the problem? That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? It's not smart enough. Because it's a big stupid jellyfish. <laughs> How can I convince my superior that I deserve a promotion if I cannot convince this annoying jelly to leave? <laughs> not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. <laughs> so if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Wow. Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the Jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The jelly. The Hanar become vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. What's the purpose behind the evangelical oh, permits? That's Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds we'll out sort out this issue. It keeps the area safe. 
The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. You're pathetic. If you can't solve this problem, you don't even deserve to be in C6. <laughs> I didn't ask for your help, human. I can deal with this myself. No, you can't. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Breaking the law. CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. <laughs> this one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. I don't have enough for the... What if I purchase the evangelical permit for Do you? Do I even have enough cash? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, <laughs> this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. Another month. You're not just evangelizing, you're panhandling. Panhandling, motherfucker. This one desires no charity. It only desires to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Fuck this. I'll be back. I'll... This one will continue to spread its message. I'll be back when I get more Renegade points. But for now, we're gonna call it here. Uh, we'll pick right up where we're leaving off in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed it. God bless, Arena.